please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button, like, comment, and share. 10 point is what's the best broadhead to use for my crossbow, my 10 point crossbow. A few years ago, we came out with our Evo X center punch mechanical broadhead. And for 2021, we now have our Montec fixed blade broadhead powered by G5. Designed for maximum strength, this is the most accurate fixed blade broadhead on the market today. Built exclusively for 10 point by G5, the one piece, 100 grain broadhead features a three blade cut on contact design with a devastating one and one eighths inch cut. Designed for maximum strength, it is built with a rugged 100% steel ferrule, ultra strong precision point and scalpel sharp steel blades that create massive wound channels and huge blood trails. The steel broadhead is 100% spin tested to ensure perfect broadhead to shaft alignment and field point accuracy. The Montec broadhead is sold as a three pack for $39.99. in three different models. The standard version with our proven trophy tip, a cut on contact version with ultra sharp mini blade, as well as a deep six version specifically designed for Easton's deep six line of arrow shafts. Along with its ultra strong construction, the kill zone features NAP's legendary blade sharpness. Sharp blades are critical to putting that game animal down as fast as possible. Sharp blades equal maximum knockdown power. The kill zone is specifically designed to always open when it hits an animal, and never open in flight. It will easily stay closed when placing your arrow into a quiver. Kill zones won't even open when being shaken violently. Stalking through dense brush is no problem. The kill zone uses a precisely engineered spring clip to hold both blades closed during flight, even out of the fastest bows available. To test blade opening, install the head onto your arrow shaft and push the kill zone into a target. Even pushing slowly, the blades will fully open. Never try to open the blades with your fingers as you may be accidentally cut as the blades pop open. The blades may feel hard with fingers, it's okay, they are specifically designed this way to stay closed in flight and will always open when they hit an animal. Sometimes it can be difficult to see that a kill zone has indeed opened in a target especially black foam targets. Let's demonstrate. Here we are shooting at 20 yards with a deep six kill zone and a hunting setup, 70 pound bow shooting 300 feet per second. Notice that at first glance, the broadhead appears to not have opened. Upon close inspection, you can see the two distinct slits made by the sharp blades as the head opened on the impact. Now let's repeat the test using a Genesis youth bow that pulls around 13 pounds. The kill zone still opens when it hits the target. Finally, let's try this with a draw length check bow that pulls around four pounds. Even with very little kinetic energy, the kill zone opens easily when it impacts the target. Here is a kill zone passing through the backside of a target. Notice the large two inch exit hole. Looking at a kill zone that has been shot, you'll notice a small dent where the blade impacted the ferrule on full open. Even a kill zone that has been shot from a lower poundage bow will show these marks to prove that it is open properly. When setting up your arrows, it's important to cut your arrow a little long to prevent the closed broadhead from hitting your arrow rest. The kill zone broadhead is designed for maximum knockdown power on large game animals. Here are a few photos showing the power of the kill zone. Notice the extremely large entrance and exit wound holes on these game animals. The new kill zone broadhead. the next level of broadheads, providing you with fixed and mechanical blade technology in one devastating head. Available in both crossbow and compound models, the DK4 features a pivoting main blade, which eliminates deflection off bone and maintains momentum. 
while delivering true field point accuracy as well as two deploying bleeder blades for an inch and a quarter secondary cutting diameter, equating to devastating wound channels. And with an internal blade retention system, there are no O-rings, collars, or rubber bands, just the confidence knowing that the blades will open on impact no matter your target. Featuring a bone-crushing trophy tip and diamized blade sharpening process for true ultra-sharp blades, the DK4 Hey, it's Dakota product. Collins here from The Outdoor Chef, and we're out here on a beautiful morning here in Ontario, Canada, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Exact Mechanical Broadhead from Excalibur. This broadhead is a beautiful broadhead if you're hunting things with a smaller kill zone, like this beautiful eastern wild turkey we got here this morning. What it does is that is it impacts that animal, it spreads those blades out and gives you a very wide diameter cutting radius. So if they have a smaller kill zone, it just gives you that little bit of buffer you need when you're in the field hunting things with a smaller kill zone. And this morning we were hunting with the micro suppressor from Excalibur here and it did the work on this turkey at 55 yards. If you're heading into the woods this fall, this combo with the exact mechanical broadhead from Excalibur or the Excalibur micro suppressor is what you need. Look at this, look at, this is a beautiful eastern wild turkey hen. I tell you, that was quite a stalk this morning. We literally, we came down here, we spotted the turkeys right from the top of the hill. So we circled around, we repositioned ourselves four times. But let me tell you, the feeling of gratification once you finally get one of these beautiful birds, you know, it's really important to me for to- Outdoors, I'm here today to talk to you about the Rage Crossbow X Broadhead. It's available in 100 and 125 grains. Um, one of the differences that we do when we design a broadhead is we specifically tailor it for, for its function. And this particular one, um, a lot of companies out there will take one of their standard broadheads and just put a crossbow label on it. And we truly design this to work with a crossbow um, and it's engineered as such. Um, it's got an aluminum ferrule that we have a technology called FAT, uh, which is feral alignment technology. And essentially what that means is the outside diameter of a crossbow bolt is 2264. So we take our ferrule and we swedge it out to that 2264 diameter so that you get a very aerodynamic um, flow back to it. Um, standard is 5 16 And when a 5 16 ferrule butts up to your 2264 uh, insert, you get a little bit of a lip there. So we have this, this designed as such so that it flows with that crossbow bolt. And the, the big leading edge blade and this, this broadhead, when it's opened, um, opens up to two inches. And at two inches, one of the things that we, we know is that with a crossbow bolt, a crossbow bolt has a lot of energy right out of the box, but it does lose its energy as it gets out to, to further yardages because it is so short and compact and, and inherently light uh, for what it's, what it's doing. And so we've designed it to give that, that two inch cut so that you get great penetration um, even at those further yardages out there. Um, it's truly an awesome broadhead. Like I say, it's available in 100 and 125 grains and it's truly designed for crossbows. So uh, if you want to check out this broadhead and learn more about it, go to ragebroadheads.com and, and check it out. Design, cut, build, and assemble millions of broadheads, pink ones, silver ones, ones that open with ball bearings, and others that just cut like hell. So you want to know what it's like to wear a blue collar and grow a manly beard, to work on machines that get oil on your shirt and grit in your fingernails, to work on machines that spit out product with the precision of Hemingway's words. So you want to know what it's like to be made in America? So you want to know what it's like to push old buttons, to shovel snow during your lunch break, and to sweat over a product people love and trust. 
So you want to know what it's like to ship the beginning of someone's story, to be the place where it all started, to be the place that they trust. So you want to know what it's like to be made in Connecticut, where it's cold, creaky and old, where the sounds would make our forefathers proud and our enemies jealous. Here, people care and have a first name. Here, it's about products that matter and machines that we know how to fix. Here, it's oil and dirt and noises that fill your soul like music from a hymn. So you want to know what it's like to be built by America? So you want to know what it's like to build with your hands, to craft with your mind, and to reminisce with your soul. So you want to know what it's like to make the old new, to teach the young how to walk in the path of the old, and show someone the heritage that we have all grown to love. And that's what it's like to be built by America. Thanks for watching. Product buying links are given in the video description.